Hey guys, who has a ton of um, turkey left over from Thanksgiving? Uh, we finished all our sides, it took a couple more meals, but they're all gone and I still have a lot of turkey. I have this and I probably have another container like this. I made, I made extra turkey this year. So um, I went online and I found a recipe for turkey pot pie. We love, we love pot pies. Um, and I usually make chicken pot pie, but I figured I can easily make a turkey one. And the chicken one I make um, has canned vegetables and canned um, soup. So I thought, let me see if there's a version that I can make a little more from scratch, make it a little bit more healthy. And I found this one super easy, not kidding. Um, I also got my new uh, deep dish stoneware pie plate. I'm not a big pie maker, but I do make pot pies. So um, it's so pretty and it matches a lot of my other stuff. And I'm, you know, I'm a little addicted. So I figured, let me get it. It was on the 25% off sale and I get an extra discount as a consultant, but this sale is going on through tonight at midnight. So you can still pick one of these up for 25% off. It's a great deal and it looks really pretty. I put my um, corn pudding in it um, on the table for Thanksgiving. So it doesn't really have to only be for pie. It's a pretty way to serve things. So anyway, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use, um, refrigerated pie crust. I'm going to put one in the bottom, put my filling in and put another one on the top. So, um, but what I wanted to show you besides for that, I have a couple things to show you is my salad choppers. I haven't used these in a while. These are, um, you know, you put them in a bowl and you cut through your lettuce, but you can also do it for meats. Let me put this down a little bit. So I'm going to show you. So what, I, what I'm planning on doing is cutting up my turkey, all the leftover turkey when we're really done eating it, which is probably going to be in another day or two. And I'm going to um, chop it all up with my salad choppers. And I'm going to put it in bags in my freezer. And this way I will have, um, I will have chopped up turkey to make turkey pot pie over the winter when I feel like it in the next couple of months, it'll be an easy way to do it. So, I don't know, my hands are not working that great. But anyway, you can see that it's chopping it up. The turkey's a little bit um, thick and tough, so it might take a little bit longer to get this really chopped up. But you can chop up chicken, you can chop up uh, steak with this, you can chop up, um, you can shred pork, you know, for your, um, shredded pork, uh, pulled pork, whatever. It's, it's, it's a great tool because it, rather than sitting and chopping it into little pieces, I feel like these go better in a pot pie. So almost done. He's just, you're supposed to cut, this is probably not a great um, container for it either, but you get the idea. So it's all gonna get chopped up really nice. And like I said, this is a great tool for lettuce also when you're making a salad. So you can use it for meats, you can use it for salads and it's getting all nicely chopped up. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of my, ooh, I worked up a little bit of a sweat doing that. Um, and then, so then I found this recipe. Let me tell you what I put in it. Looks like it's really fancy, but it's really not. It made this nice thick um, base. So you, you just uh, cook onion and butter. Then you add flour, poultry seasoning, thyme, salt, and pepper. Cook it for two minutes. The onion you cooked until it was tender. That was about five minutes. Then you cook two minutes more. Then I put in some chicken broth and some milk. I stirred a little bit after each addition. Um, bring it to a boil, cook it for one minute. Then I'm gonna just put my pie crust in. And then to this, I'm gonna add turkey. And I'm gonna add, these were frozen vegetables. It said to thaw them, which of course, I don't usually read the recipes through before I make them. So I just stuck it in the microwave for like half the amount of time that it was supposed to be cooked. Um, so they're, Still, you know, they're not, they're not hot, but they're thawed out now. So I'm going to add this to it. I'm going to add the turkey to it. And again, because I didn't really read the recipe, it also calls for some to, uh, potato. So I chopped it up. It was supposed to be cooked, which I didn't read ahead of time. So I'm just quickly, I cut it up into small pieces. I'm quickly boiling that on the stove. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add the turkey. And then this is my 12 inch nonstick pan here. Um, and my new whisk, my new sauce whisk. So this is great when you make sauces because it goes, it's a round shape. I think I showed this once before and it's coated in maybe silicone. So um, it gets into all the corners. It's a really nice, you know, you're not using the other kind as longer and it's, it, you don't always get everywhere. This is really nice, easy to work with. Um, so I got my new whisk. I got my new 10, 12 inch 
nonstick pan, which has the removable handle, which if you ever want to make anything that goes from the stovetop into the oven, you can put this into the oven. Um, it's great size. This is also on the 25% off sale. There's about 15, 20 items. And like I said, it's going until midnight tonight. So this is a great deal. And today is, um, Cyber Monday. So, uh, the deal that Pamper Chef is offering is any, um, any, um, orders that are not through parties get free shipping today, no matter what the amount. So whether you want to order a $5 item or a $50 item, free shipping, no limits. So anyway, these are some of my new, my newest uh, additions to my kitchen. I'm excited to make my pot pie. I'm going to uh, post a picture of it a little bit later. Um, but you can see how easy it was to do. I mean, really simple. Um, ingredients that you have, nothing complicated. So anyway, hope you guys will think about making this. Hope you think about using my idea of shredding up your uh, turkey and then throwing it in the freezer so you have it for other recipes later on. Um, and that's about it. So hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving, getting geared up for the holiday season, and I'll be talking to you soon with more ideas and recipes. Bye.